Cats are amazing pets, and today they're even more popular than dogs. Cats have a reputation of being finicky about their food. The reality is, just like people, many cats consume far too many calories. Obesity is the most common nutritional disease, with 30 to 50% of cats being overweight. Obesity in cats affects overall health and well-being and increases the risk of diabetes and arthritis. With your help and good diet habits, obesity can be prevented. The obesity epidemic in cats is a reflection of how we feed our cats and the lifestyle of modern cats. As cats have gone from being hunters outside to our beloved indoor cats, they spend more time sleeping and eating and essentially no time hunting for their food. We can keep our feline friends healthy by increasing their activity and providing multiple small meals. Cat food balls such as this one, food puzzles, and hiding kibbles around the house can allow the cats to hunt or work for his or her food, which increases activity and helps with weight management. Trying to get your cat to lose weight by just decreasing the amount of food that he or she is eating can be very dangerous and even life-threatening. As with any health condition, diet recommendations must be individualized and will vary depending upon your cat's weight, the body conditioning score, and any disease present. Ask your veterinarian to recommend the best diet and to calculate the amount of calories your cat needs. Cats have unique nutritional needs as compared to dogs and people. They need certain amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, added to their diet. They should never be fed dog food or only people food. Cat diets have been specifically tested and proven to provide the right nutrition and formulated under stringent and safe conditions. Even if a food is labeled to be complete and balanced, be sure to ask your veterinarian if it's the best diet for your cat. Talk with your veterinarian about teaching your cat to enjoy a variety of foods. They can recommend the proper amount of varied, well-balanced and safe diets, including both dry and canned foods to allow for more water, which can help protect their urinary system. Since urinary diseases are a common problem in cats, it's best to follow your veterinarian's recommendations. In addition to obesity and urinary conditions, dental disease is another common condition that affects cats. During your cat's physical examination, your veterinarian can suggest if a special diet would be appropriate for your cat. And if your veterinarian discovers a medical problem where specific and specialized nutrition can help, you'll be able to help your cat with the right prescription for optimum health. Finally, hairballs are not normal in cats. Thankfully, most cats are self-grooming. They should be able to swallow the hair and have it pass through their digestive system without causing a cough, hack, or vomit more than once every two or three months. So if you think your cat just has a hairball, be sure to alert your veterinarian. This could be a sign of a number of conditions and some can be very, very serious. So remember, cats are not small dogs. They are their own individual selves, playful and athletic, smart and sophisticated, and they are wonderful, loving companions. Make sure you're feeding your cat the right quantity of the best food so you and your cat can enjoy a lifetime of good health and happiness together. This message was brought to you by the Catalyst Council, where cats are valued and cared for.